I was just picking up the shrimp and fish after I looked around because I was tired and I saw a bright orange light. I thought it was a sunrise, so I just stayed there looking until it come up. So I stayed there for like about 30 minutes, but then mm-hmm. it just stood still. It was still dark. Then um, my dad listened to the radio after someone told my dad is an oil, oil spill or something. After he turned on the radio and the Coast Guard was saying something about needing help. Because like at least about 15 people died and a lot of people was missing. So after that, the next day, we went back on land. With the oil spill and the halt in the seafood industry, over 80% of Vietnamese Americans are affected by this. And for the folks living here in New Orleans, and especially in Venice and Burris, where um, a lot of us live, um, where it's a lot more closer to the water, that's all been, they've been doing for the past 20, 30 years. They've been doing this since they were in Vietnam. Uh-huh. Vietnamese and non-English speaking communities are particularly affected by this because it's hard for them to understand what's going on. And so right now we're just trying to work to organize folks locally and nationally to get them to come down here to as- provide assistance with this because my boss is called BP like a couple of times today and he's been put on hold for a really long time to even talk to anybody that's even remotely connected to this issue right and so if it's hard for him to do that and he speaks English imagine what it's gonna be like for folks who don't speak English to call these folks. Unfortunately this, this oil spill out there in the Gulf uh, does not help uh, our people uh, too much. Actually, it harms many people. I mean, there are a lot of uh, people who are going for unemployment. Yeah. Yeah, so a lot of people are out of job right now. So we don't know what to do yet. What do you think this community needs right now? Help. We need a lot of help. <laughs>